In this video, I'm going to show you how to network your ZSK machine equipped with a T8 controller to a Windows 10 computer. Now right now I am working on a Windows 10 computer and I need to take some information from here over to the machine. Along with this information, I do need to set up a shared folder that will house all my designs that I want to pull from the computer. So, first things first. I need to make sure that I have a username and password to sign on to the computer with, and I need to make sure it's a local account. To do this, I can go into my control panel. So I open up the control panel, and I can go to user accounts. Within my user accounts, I will then go to user accounts again, and here I can see that the name of my computer, or not the name of the computer, but the name of my account, is Andrea. It's a local account, I'm the administrator, and it is password protected. You want to make sure it is a local account and not a Microsoft account. You also want to make sure that you do have a password. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm using the password 1234. I would advise having a little bit more secure password, you know, typically anywhere between 8 and 12 characters using numbers and letters. So if you need to make any changes to this account, I would go to make changes to my account in PC settings. Here in my PC settings, I can change my Microsoft over to a local account. You can see here I'm a little bit opposite. It says sign in with a Microsoft account instead, which I don't want a Microsoft account. I do need that local account. The other thing is in my sign in options, um, you can change your password. But before I go on to that, um, I would advise with your account not to have any spaces between anything. Um, I want to go to my sign in options and in my sign in options I can change my password. So again, my username is Andrea, my password is 1234. The next part of it all, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Now the next step is to create a shared folder. You can create a shared folder on your desktop on any one of your local drives. And this folder is what will house all your designs that you would like to bring in from the machine. And um, you can have several directories within this folder, that's no problem. But I do want to make a name, I'm sorry, I do want to make a main folder for my designs. To do this, I'm going to do this on the desktop. And again, you can do this on your C drive, uh, in my documents, or wherever it may be. I will right click, scroll down to select new, and then folder. Once I choose folder, I can see that new folder is highlighted, and I am just going to name it ZSK EMB. I typically don't want any spaces in there. You know, if you want a space, maybe input a dash instead, but then I'll input enter. After I do that, I need to now make sure it's shared. So I will right click on that folder. I will scroll down to properties and left click. When I do that, you can see that my properties box appears and at the top, I have several different tabs. I'm going to click on the sharing tab. I will then hit share. And when I hit share, I will want to make sure that I use everyone with that drop down arrow, hit add, and then make sure that the permission level is read and write. Once I do that, I hit share. Now I have one more step before I do complete this. I hit done, and then I will go to advanced sharing. When I hit advanced sharing, I do wanna make sure I share this folder. That's the share name right there, and press okay. Now, I need to look at this network path. The network path here is slash slash the name of the computer slash ZSK EMB. Right here, this is important too because um, desktop dash BE2 RLAN is the name of my computer. That typically is, is named or labeled when you set up the computer. So I want you to take this information and also bring it over to the machine. Now the last part of this is I need to change the settings in the advanced sharing options. 
So we'll go ahead and close this out. Remember, I do need this information. Um, so write that down somewhere to bring it with you over to the machine. We'll hit close. I'll go back to my control panel and in the control panel we'll go to network and internet and left click. Here I have the network and sharing center. I'll left click on that. And then on the left hand side I have change advanced sharing settings. I'll left click. In the sharing settings um, I do want to make sure that the network detection is on that my file and print sharing is on, and that um, I, I just allow Windows to manage my home group. Um, you can change other things, but, uh, and also in my guest and public, I wanna make sure that network discovery is off. Um, also, I wanna make sure print and file sharing is on. So I wanna make sure those are all correct so the four main things are net, network detection is on, um, the file and print sharing is on, and then I want to make sure that network discovery is off for the, the public, and then password protection is on for file and print sharing. So those are the four main things here. I'll go ahead and close this out. If you do make changes, go ahead and make sure you save changes. Now we're going to go over to the machine. We did not do anything within our IP address settings um, because we are going to use two Ethernet cables and one switch. So we're going to have one Ethernet cable connected from the computer to the switch and then one Ethernet cable from the machine to the switch. That way we don't have to enter in any specific IP address settings and this can automatically detect it. So now, let's go over to the machine, take those settings, and plug them in. We're going to see how we can insert those settings, as well as ping the machine and ping the computer from each other. So to connect the computer to the machine, we have one Ethernet cable plugged into the computer. That Ethernet cable is then plugged into a network switch. The network switch that I have is a five network switch. I can plug in five different ethernet cables. That other ethernet cable is going from the switch to the machine. This allows us to have those automatic IP settings. And then you can see it's plugged into the back of the T8 controller just above that second USB port. For the T8 settings, in the networking, we do have to go to the hardware and software settings, which is L7. Press this, and in here, I have network setup. I press this right here. Once I have that, I do go to network username. Now remember, this is the user account name on your computer. So here, it says guest. I'm going to arrow over and just delete it all. I now will input the name Andrea, because that's my account name on my computer. So A-N-D-R-E-A, and then press OK. Once I do that, I then go to Network Password. And here, this is where I input my password. If you need to get to special characters, you can hit the tab button here. I just type in 1, 2, 3, 4, and then press OK. With the IP address and subnet mask, if I press this, I just want to make sure that obtained from DHCP server is checkmarked. I don't need to issue manually as we are working with two ethernet cables and a network switch. Confirm. The computer name, this is the name of the machine, ZSK MID, and then the corresponding serial number. We'll leave this as is. We don't need to touch this. Press OK. We want to make sure that the machine and the computer are connecting, so I want to do a network test or ping, and this would be pinging the computer from the machine. To do this, I can press network test, and in here, it's giving me an IP address. Now, if my IP address says 127.0.0.1, that's telling me that it's not online. If it's not online, check your connections, uh, you also may need to wait a second for that computer and, or the T8 to connect over. 
If you're not sure of your IP address of your computer, you can always input the computer name. And if you remember from the video before, I can type in uh, desktop, D-E-S-K-T-O-P, and then dash, tab again, B-E, I know it's rather long, tab two, and then R-L-A-N. Once I have that input as my computer name, that's the name of the computer itself, I hit OK. Then it gives me the IP address of the computer. I'll click Execute Test. My transmission is successful, so I know that the machine is seeing the computer. I can also ping the machine from the computer by using this IP address, and I will show you that when we get back to the computer. I'll hit Previous and Previous again. One more time, and now we're back. We may have to restart the machine to input all those settings. Now to ping the machine from the computer, I have to go to my command prompt. In the search box at the bottom of my screen, I just type in CMD, and then go to the command prompt and left click. Here, I have to input the command ping, P-I-N-G, space, and then I'm inputting the IP address on the machine that we saw in the T8 controller and that network setup. So it's 169.254.96.92. Once I do that, I hit enter. It will tell me the reply from that IP address. I can see here that I am pinging it. It is communicating with it. So now I know 100% that uh, they're talking to each other. Now we wanna pull the design from that shared folder. I'll go to R1. And then down at the bottom, we'll go to Network Connection, which is U5. I'll press that. I choose the frame attachment I want, hit Confirm, and now I have no entry available. I'll have to set up a new connection, and this is part of that information I told you to remember. We'll hit the Tab key, and we'll do the shared folder path. So backslash, backslash, tab, and then again, my long name, desktop, D-E-S-K, T O P tab again the tab key allows you to input you know special characters um, B E two tab R L A N then I need to tab I need to hit the tab button again to do that slash again and then tab now this is the name of the shared folder so it's Z S K and then E M B once I hit OK, it's going to um, load up that connection, and now I have no entries found in there. If I hit the previous button and go back to my network connection, you'll see that my network connection appears. When I select this connection, I don't have any entries found because I haven't put anything in there. But here is where you will see all your directories should you have directories within the shared folder as well as your designs.